Take the number 888. The sum of the squares of each digit of this number gives 192. We can add the squares again and we get 86. If we do this for a while, we reach the number 1. Now let's try the same idea with the number 4. This time, we end up in a cycle that leads back to 4, never reaching 1. These numbers that never reach 1 are called unhappy numbers. When working in base 10, all unhappy numbers eventually fall into the same cycle involving the number 4. And these are all happy numbers. And these are all of the happy numbers from 1 to 1000. If a number is happy, then all the numbers in its sequence are also happy. And if a number is unhappy, then all the numbers in its sequence are also unhappy. There are infinitely many happy numbers. To see this, consider 10 to the nth power where n is natural. These are always happy numbers, since summing the squares of the digits always gives 1. There are also infinitely many unhappy numbers because 2 times 10 to the nth power is always unhappy. We can permute the digits of a happy number or an unhappy number and it will remain happy or unhappy. A number will remain happy or unhappy no matter how many zeros we add or remove. This is the perfect digital invariant function, and we can use it to determine whether a number n is happy. For example, if we apply the function twice to the number 13, we get 1, and so 13 is happy. The function is perfect because it gives an exact value and not an approximation. Digital means that we are concerned with the digits of a number and not its value. An invariant is any number that is not changed by the function. In base 10, the only invariant is the number 1, though there may be other invariants if we change the base we are performing calculations in, or if we are concerned with powers other than squares. n is the input number, or the number you're applying the function to. And i is the digit position, ranging from 0 to the floor of the log of n. As an example, let's consider n equals 123. A number is called b happy if it is happy when interpreting its digits in base b. That is, the perfect digital invariant function returns the value 1 after some j iterations. But this is a bit misleading, since in bases other than 10 it is possible there is more than one invariant. So in more general terms, a number is b happy if at some iteration j, every further iteration j plus y equals the jth iteration. But anyway, let's take a look at an example. 347 is 6 happy because after a few iterations of the perfect digital invariant function, we get the invariant 1. As mentioned, in some bases, there is more than one invariant. For example, in base 3, both 5 and 8 are invariant. Base 2 and base 4 are known as happy bases. This means that all numbers are happy in base 2 and base 4. And finally, I want to look at some invariants in base 10 when the power is greater than 2. Consider p equals 3. Of course, 1 is still invariant, but now there are 4 other invariants as well. And we can find more numbers like these as we raise the value of p. Well, that's all for now. I hope these numbers made you happy. Thanks for watching.